Hey YouTube, I'm gonna start this video by just saying a massive congratulations to Sai, AKA Ginger Hippie Gaming, who won YouTuber of the Month. A real tough contest last month with um, all great channels. And uh, yeah, but thoroughly recommended to go and check out Ginger Hippie Gaming if you haven't already. I dare say anyone who watches my videos is, is uh, fully aware of, of Sai and his great channel. Please go over and, and check him out. Great guy. And uh, um, surprisingly to me, he's actually nominated me as one of his uh, five channels for YouTube of the month for next month. So thanks for that, Sai. I was completely shocked when you contacted me about that. And uh, for me, you know, it's it's a hobby this. It's, I've got a full-time job. I've got a small family. Um, time's absolutely uh, finite. I can hear my um, work computer laptop going off uh, in the other room right now with emails pinging. So, yeah, it's just it's just um, it's a hobby channel. But for me, what I really like is is conversing with you guys. All the comments in the um, in the you know in the videos below, and just sharing this fantastic hobby of video games, whether it's playing, collecting retro all the way through to the newest systems because again for me it's all the retro stuff but i've always all the way through been fascinated with gaming technology so that doesn't stop i'm always looking to see what's coming out next and where things are going to go so yeah simon thank you very much for that um there's some other channels there that he's nominated four others and three of them i haven't heard of uh, press start gaming generation pixel and james evans i am going to check out your channels guys and uh this is what it's all about constantly learning about other people out there check out your vids and uh yeah share share this fantastic passion for the hobby uh the other chap there is retro bear ruts bless him He's in there, so and I'm sure anyone who watches my videos knows Russ. He's a great guy. So best of luck to everyone and just best wishes. And uh, yeah, I look forward to checking out your videos if I haven't already. So on the back of that, and this is something I really like doing, is uh, a VR response to Geordie Slasher Gaming. I believe a couple of other people have uh, chimed in with this. And it's um, five games that you'd like to see remastered or remade. And I think I've seen videos from Nerdy Geezer and Retro Bait B8. I'll link all of the, the links to all of these people that I mentioned in the in the description below. Please go and check their videos out. So as soon as this VR come up, I a, a couple of games popped into my mind for a remake or a remaster. But I've I've gone through my game library here, and for me the sweet spot's kind of that 8-bit to I don't know, say like the Dreamcast. <laughs> uh, era or playstation 2 nothing further than that because i think you know the games t still tend to look quite good and i think it needs to be a couple of generations before they get remastered and likewise games for say the spectrum uh, and anything kind of uh, too old i think the games if they were remastered would just be completely different games because the technology is so far in advance but it depends how, how they're treated anyway i'm waffling the first game i've got here is alex kid in miracle world a strange character was Alex with his big head and his big hand, his fist. But I could see this being remade in a similar kind of graphical style, still 2D, uh, to the recent Monster Boy, the Monster uh, Wonder Boy, the Monster Trap game that came out for the PlayStation 4. So, real beautiful, lush graphics, and uh, yeah, it will need really, really tight controls for the jumping and the platforming aspects of this. And I'd love to see the, the little scooter bike and the helicopter and everything like that in just with some nice little animations and things like that. So there's my first one. I'd, I'd love to see a, a Alex Kidd return in some game anyway. I think the, the most recent thing I saw him in was um, Sonic Racing, wasn't it? Transformed, where he was one of the racers. It was great to see him in that. The second game is, again, from the Sega Master System. It's a little bit of an unsung hero for me. I used to absolutely love this game and I think I do mention uh, about this getting a remake or a remaster in my Sega Master System collection video and it's Game Ground. I used to 
absolutely love this and I did play the follow-up on the Mega Drive and for me it just lost something gameplay wise I'm, I'm not sure what it is or was but for me the Master System version was better but I would love to see this kind of game given a little bit of a um, you know a fresh coat of paint uh, the idea is that you would work your way from the bottom of the screen out to the exit on the top a little bit like maybe smash tv but you had to destroy all the enemies before the exit would open and you have to get all your characters up to the exit and you would have all these different characters there seemed like a load of them back in the day that had different abilities and projectile attacks and you would bring some in from your squad depending on what scenarios you had on the landscape to get through if that makes sense i'll put some video up in the corner here and uh yeah you would just choose the character wisely to take out certain guards to get through then bring someone else in you would say the magician you had a, a grenadier a magician some bow and arrow some guard that just had a machine gun you could spray you know spray all these people down yeah brilliant game would love to see that one get a, uh, an update this next one is just a game <laughs> you don't see games like this anymore you know and i think that's the trouble with a lot of the triple a games and arguably the same with movies producers and big game developers don't want to take the chance on creative ideas that maybe break the norm you know we're always going to get the first person shooters we're always going to get the story driven games but games like this for the super nintendo you just don't see anymore and that's actraiser now a lot of people didn't really like the um like the god sim aspect where this is basically a game of two halves you've got a side scrolling action slash hack and slash platformer and then the second part to this is a kind of sim city uh, aspect where you're, you're you're playing as god and you look down on townsfolk and you destroy demons and you help them build their villages back up to help flesh out this world but i can see this working so well today and this one would be i think given the 3d treatment this this would look fantastic and the music in this one's excellent so it would need a great soundtrack to um uh you know complement this original soundtrack by uh yuzu kashiro utterly excellent i did say in my super nintendo collection video that i've got the orchestral version of this soundtrack please go and check that out if you can find it it's stunning it's absolutely stunning i'm trying to find it on cd but i think it retails even second hand for like 50 60 pounds so it's yeah rare as hen's teeth that one my last two games are for the sake of dreamcast the first one being a game i haven't even finished Legacy of Kane Soul Reaver. I think the Soul Reaver series, I've seen loads of it before. And I love that dark, sort of gothic um, atmosphere that it has. This one has been left in the past for too damn long. And it does really need to see the, a new time of day. Again, in free, 3D with glorious textures and atmosphere and music. And I can imagine the same sort of... Uh, gothic um, look and feel and atmosphere of the Dark Souls universe would work really well for this going around and devouring enemy souls and yeah it, it, it would just play absolutely brilliant I can really see this one being remade why they haven't done it already I don't know fools and for the last one this really does again this is a completely unique game it's a fighting game you don't really see anything like this anymore and it's power stone i thought these were just so unique so much fun and couch co-op as well remember that you know a good couch co-op game obviously it would go online for multiplayer but this is i just absolutely love the power stone power stone 2 is really good as well maybe a bit too over the top with some of the scenarios you've got these 3d settings and you pick a character and you can use the environment to sort of swing around and propel yourself into your your enemies um and you can you collect power stone gems which enhance your ability so you can turn into like a super form of yourself uh, to help take your enemies out you can pick up uh, you know chairs planks of wood and hit them it, it's got lots of versatility in the game 
and lots of you know no two fights are really the same in it and that's what i really like about this when you know we've got all fighters now which are kind of on this 3d arena plane or you know slights uh, left to right 3d plane and it's just a bit samey again i wish people just um took a little bit more risk you know i'm sure the people want to make these games the actual designers want to make these games it's just having them produce and having that backing you know by all the the business heads at the top but uh yeah those are my five games sorry if i waffled a little bit if uh, any of you out there want to comment and let me know what you think to these games or let me know what games you would choose or even do a vr to this um that's what it's all about just sharing our ideas and our passion for for video games so all that's left to be said is thanks very much take care everyone and i'll see you again